kids, they can get it back. So we have to make little modifications. So don't turn so much, okay, to where your eyes are off. Because now we're going to go to the low kick return. He jabs, and I don't parry down anymore. I address the jab here. I'm going to push it away from me as I step, and I hit my kick. So he jabs. So what happens when he jabs and I push him here, that leg starts to move slightly. I keep my hand here as a defensive posture, hit that leg back here. He's super weak here, super weak. So we address the jab, pop, and then we throw the kick. I jab him, he kicks me. So just back and forth. Let's go. This makes them think we're gonna low kick. So, a low kick, checks, again, checks, again. One, two, three. So the key with this sweep, guys, is you cannot hit it from here. You'll never ever hit it from here. We have to pretty much be hip to hip this leg is rooted onto the ground, right over the leg. It's kind of like that jerk bully in school where they get down on all fours and then they push you like over them. Your leg's the bully. Your leg's right here. You don't lift it and you don't have it straight because you're gonna ruin your knee, okay? So after we kick, we kick, we fake, we step, we drag and turn. It is a lot to do. Right over the leg. It's kind of like that jerk bully in school where they get down on all fours and then they push you like over them. Your leg's the bully. Your leg's right here. You don't lift it and you don't have it straight because you're gonna ruin your knee, okay? So after we kick, we kick, we fake, we step, we drag and turn. It is a lot to do. Three different movements, but once you get the fluidity of it, you're good. So everybody just kind of stand behind me. Again. Good. Again. Boy. Okay? So it's just a lift. Very light. He thinks I'm kicking because he's reading this. As that foot comes down, bah, you attack. Really simple. So it's going to be from here. One, two. Let's try it. On three. One, two, three. Go. Directly, go ahead. I know I have a, a setup and I'll show you here. So you can play with it any way you want. When he sees my shoulder open up and he knows I'm gonna hook and I see that he blocks incorrectly for this drill, be a good partner by being a bad partner, by doing it incorrectly. So I want you blocking like this. Okay, so he, he's done it once. He's done it twice. Okay, so at that point, when you're here, everything's loose, guys. The cartilage in the ribs are opening up. The liver is there for the taking, okay? So, when we hook, he sees me turning my, my hip and my shoulder. I'm gonna come around as though I'm gonna hook, but I purposely fall short and then hit. You're not switching. You're just kind of letting your body take that kick to hit the liver. Everybody got that? Let's try it. So I want you blocking like this. Okay, so he's he done it once. He's done it twice. Oh. Okay, so at that point, when you're here, everything's loose, guys. The cartilage in the ribs are opening up. The liver is there for the taking, okay? So, when we hook, he sees me turning my, my hip and my shoulder. I'm gonna come around as though I'm gonna hook, but I purposely fall short and then hit. You're not switching. You're just kind of letting your body take that kick to hit the liver. Everybody got that? Let's try it. On three, one, two, three. Oh. You helped me with that one. <laughs> That's badass though. That's awesome. But this is the key. You don't even, honestly guys, you don't have to really even kick the leg. Once we're here, if you get enough head pressure coming down and enough leg coming up, you can literally step and then peel and they can go. This is just added bonus. This is what makes them fly. Okay, so last one. Really simple. Catch, grab, knee, head down, leg up, 
and tap in a circular movement. Sometimes guys, I'm a short guy, sometimes when guys throw the body kick, he does a beautiful job and turns it over. Some guys, they kick wrong and the knee's like this. If you have a long opponent and you want to get inside, I hit that leg. Oh. Or maybe to come in like that. So if they don't turn it over, you just tap and it sucks. Okay, so be careful. Let's go, guys. One, two, three. We're going to use our strong side hook. So we use our lead hook here. Here, you really want to crack somebody with this strong side. Make them block incorrectly and make them worry about getting knocked out. So I want you to do it twice. So I want you to really make it very deliberate. Twist. Down, hook, and really raise that elbow. Boom, again. Oh, one more. Oh, hey. He's worried about not getting knocked out. He's not worried about this anymore. Same thing we did before. Okay. Same thing. So you just use this to wind up, help this come across the chest as we get to the side of the hip. Got it? Let's go. One, three, one, two, three, one. So when he sees my leg come up, I switch and my leg comes up, I know he's gonna nine times out of ten block this way. So on my third one, I switch, I lift, boom. So if both hands are here, why not try this? The reverse elbow, I don't throw a lot of spinning techniques. One, I can't throw them. I don't teach anything that I can't do. I throw like a crocodile kick, uh, an old tie kick where you spin. Sounds like a spinning heel kick. That's it. Anything we do spinning is very dangerous, first of all. And especially kicks. And the payoff isn't quite there. What wins fights? Jabs, crosses, yeah. leg kicks, head kicks. Spinning stuff looks really cool. The reverse elbow is something, though, that I believe in. When you throw a reverse elbow, you throw it if you are just schooling your opponent. <laughs> <clears throat> anything you want to them, crack them. Or if you're getting your butt kicked and you have nothing to lose, <laughs> throw the reverse elbow. But somebody like Gaston Bolanos, I think, has so much success because when you throw a reverse, man, you gotta throw it. You have to throw it. There's no half assing uh, 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 reverse or spinning elbow. You have to throw it. So obviously, I want you guys to be very, very careful here. We're gonna switch kick twice. And then on that third one, lift and throw it. You can throw it from a switch kick range. I like to walk my kick if I'm further out. If I'm further out, I like to walk my kick here. So you can walk it if you want. Walk that last one and then go there. So if you play with it, please be careful with the elbow. Let's go. One, two, three, four. Pop, I can crack in there. I can leg lift. Oh, I can knee in there. Use deceptive tactics, tactics especially the leg lift, to get inside. So now we use the lead, we're gonna use the rear now. If he's got a high guard and bam, I'm using my rear. Boom, I wanna get inside, I just want you guys to lift, address, and knee. That's it. Okay, so I want one, two, lift, step outside, address the hand and head, knee. Let's go. This one's a quick one, it's an easy one. Let's one, go. two, three, go. If you can move a little bit, do it. So if he throws right, step right, come here. Everyone should know this. Very simple, very old school. Elbow, boom, elbow. Everyone should know it. Textbook Muay Thai. Catch, step away, a little lift. Elbow, hook, elbow. And then back. Again, one, lift, spike elbow, hook, reverse, and then back. I give him a little lift. He's going to be expecting maybe this. He's going to be expecting a right side attack, a right side elbow, a right side hand. This is one of the favorite ones that, that my teacher does. We're gonna attack the same side. After I catch him, I lift the leg to offset him. I pull him towards me. As I step back, same side elbow. So all, it sucks, because all your weight is coming here. So that lead attack, or that lead, um, that lead side, once I step and push him, boom, right there, it's like a wall. So let's be careful. We're gonna catch, stepping away, lift, step back, pull, elbow. It's not so much that you're cracking them yes. this way. They're walking in. You're pulling them into this. Okay, be careful. Let's go. One, two, three. Oh. <laughs> Muay Thai sweeps are really simple. They're not used enough. I teach them a lot. We use them in MMA fights and Thai fights, whatever. Um, you have to believe in them. You have to do them. First one, super simple. 
Everyone should know this. We catch and we step away. I grab the neck, boom, my knee. With that knee, his body, he should start folding over. I lift the leg as I pull the head down in a circular motion. Then I hit his base leg with my right instep, and that's your sweep. So, it's gonna be one, here, two, three. He helped me with that one. Put your bad ass up. That's awesome. But this is the key. You don't even, honestly guys, you don't have to really even kick the leg. Once we're here, if you get enough head pressure coming down and enough leg coming up, you can literally step and then peel and they can go. This is just added bonus. This is what makes them fly. Okay, so last one, really simple. Catch, grab, knee, head down, leg up, and tap in a circular movement. Sometimes guys, I'm a short guy, sometimes when guys throw the body kick, he does a beautiful job and turns it over. Some guys, they kick wrong and the knee's like this. If you have a long opponent and you want to get inside, I hit that leg oh. and get to come in like that. Oh. So if they don't turn it over, you just tap and it sucks. Yeah. Okay, so be careful, let's go guys. One, two, three. Right. <laughs> I step back and catch left my body. Okay? Now I'm gonna show you sweeps. If you come to seven tomorrow, I'll show you some of this stuff. Boom. That's why I catch that way. He throws this. Boom. That's why I'll catch that way. But for the sweep, it makes it easy. Here, catch left hand bottom. Open him up here. Sweep. Exactly what we just did, but it's off of the tee. He throws left, left hand bottom, across the body, and I hit my sweep. He throws right, right hand bottom, across my body, and I hit my sweep. Got it? Let's try it. I catch left hand bottom. I have to off balance him. Okay, here. Oh! <laughs> this is it. One. This is important. This is important. From here, I pull down to letter J. When you go fast, here we break it down. But when you go fast, it looks kind of effortless. And it, it is. You just have to trap. Pull them down. Pull them towards you and down. And then you step like a bullfighter. Pull the. You guys, I'm just give you one minute to get this. 